Hey Scorpio, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business. <laughs> it's like, um, whatever. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. Scorpio, I want to say right off the bat, I feel like that there is like some mental anguish. Um some unnecessary mental anguish that you might be going through. Uh, la, 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 la. Something that you may be keeping to yourself because you don't want to cause conflict. And it's, it's not a, it's like not a, a really big deal, but in your head it is. But you, something I think has screwed around with your sense of empowerment okay that's just what I what I feel what I see the, what I want to say about that though is it's not what you think Scorpio that's unusual for you no I, that's not unusual for you even though Scorpio is extremely intuitive and blah 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 and I'm Scorpio moon and rising so trust me I get all of this and I don't want to go through all of you know all of those things that you've heard before you're intuitive you know what's going on you know when somebody's lying you can see through to somebody's soul but because of that scorpio energy sometimes that 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 distrust that we can have for people uh, that can cause us to create this internal conflict this anxiety and i really don't think it's there it, i don't think that it really exists okay so let's see what's up okay so the first thing is that we we have the seven <laughs> we got the seven of cups reversed so you're not letting your dreams and obsessions get the best of you there is a reality that may be different than what you initially thought and you you this reality may be showing you that you know everything that glitters ain't gold right but that's okay because you know nobody's perfect no relationships perfect and this Scorpio for some reason based on what it is that you think that you see or that you thought that you've seen, I think there's some jealousy that has uh, reared its ugly head. But I, I feel like you've got a handle on that. And if you don't, I'm telling you, it, it, it's not worth that. You're wasting your time if you are letting the green-eyed monster come and, and hang out with you. It's not worth it. Okay. We got the king of coins here. Uh, no surprises with the king of coins, whether this is you or somebody that you are dealing with, this could be Taurus, Virgo, or um, Capricorn, I'm sorry, it's like really hot in here, this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and it doesn't have to be, but you know, it could be somebody who's really earthy, and like I said, there's no surprises here. What you see is what you get. This is earth energy. This is 3D. This is somebody who, this is tall, dark, and handsome. He's got his stuff together. You know, his, he's got his resources in order. Order. He's, um, he's uh, looked up to in the community and if somebody needs help he's he's the guy that they look to and he's very dependable uh, uh, so again if you are dealing with somebody Scorpio or looking to deal with somebody it's exactly what it looks like and not what you're dreaming up in your head. Now, whether that is good or bad, whether you're looking at somebody in the best way and they really are a sack of shit, or whether you're looking at somebody in the worst way and they really are the best thing since sliced bread. 
And since it is the king of coins, right, we're going to go with this person being the best thing since sliced bread. Don't let your obsessions or compulsions, you know, or dark visions get the best of you. It is what it is exactly what it looks like. Okay. And we have got the moon card. Confusion. Fear. Um, you're feeling like you've been deceived or tricked. What is it that you're fearful about, Scorpio? You feel like that somebody's not who they appear to be. And that's what I said before we even pulled these cards. Whatever it is, Scorpio, your intuition is on point like it always is. Your paranoia is throwing you off course. I promise you, everything's good. Everything's solid. Scorpio, if you are battling back and forth within your own self about somebody that you may be dealing with, there's absolutely no need to. Before I even pull the card, I think I already said that this is just something that you are creating for yourself. It's internal conflict. It's you know, embedded fear. And I think this is that in time. I'm sorry. I think that this is, you know, just it, it's it's due to the things that you've been through in the past. And it causes you to see things a certain way, even though they are not quite that way. And I really feel like, Scorpio, your fears, your confusion, if you're not careful, will get the best of you and you can become an obsessive, jealous mess. And, and we don't want that. It's not necessary. The King of Coins says, I am who I am. What you see is what you get. I've said that several times before. Don't let the fear and confusion get the best of you. It's not real. It's not real. The only thing in these three cards that's real is him. Now, the moon upright certainly says that your intuition is on point. You're just not using it correctly. You're letting paranoia get ahead of using your intuition in a healthy way okay that's the way i see it scorpio and in order to avoid repeating myself over and over again i'm going to wrap that up here if you would like to get a personal reading with me you can do so by contacting me at tina at 85th house vibrations.net if you are new here i'm sorry it's hot thank you so much for uh, giving this video a chance and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back I hope to talk to you guys again next month.